everyone. May 11th, beautiful day here on my acreage. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, so we're staying around this weekend. Um, but I thought I'd do a quick, video, taking a break from doing yard work and I uh, wanted to do a quick video on something. Um, I want to do a video on a, on, a, on a new tent. So I finally went out and bought a one person tent. And the reason I'll do, I did that is because I've said it before, I'm not into this ultralight concept. I, I'm, I'm a minimalist, but a, not an ultralight guy. Uh, I, I tend to have to bring a lot of gear in the mountains because of the sun changes of weather, the fact that I'm alone and I can't depend on other people and, and things like that. So being an ultralight is not my style. I'm a bit of a minimalist, but I'm trying something really, really new this year. And, and this is my first one person tent. I've always brought a two man tent. I, I, I find that the uh, extra weight of the two person tent is not a big deal for me and I always uh, enjoy the extra comfort. But I bought I bought a raft. I'm going to do a separate video on this raft. But I'm going I'm, I want to kick my adventures to a whole new level. Uh, I've been following a guy, a fellow Albertan from Northern Alberta named uh, Ben Brochu for years now and Ben has been a pioneer of pack rafting with some of his trips and some of his firsts. And so I bought this, uh, this raft this year because I want to kick my adventures to a whole new level. So, uh, so expect some videos, a whole new type of videos where now I'm going to hike up to somewhere and then canoe or, or, or raft back out. So I'll do a, a video of the raft itself and you'll see a whole bunch of videos of my rafting adventures. But this raft, as light as it is, is 7 pounds. So now I'm committing myself to 7 extra pounds on my pack plus the oar. So that's about 8 pounds. So I am forced into a bit of, uh, of an effort this summer to reduce my weight. So this tent is the first effort to reduce my weight. This one person tent shaves a good two pounds off my other tent. So the, the uh, right, so this is, this is, the tent is Marmot. It's this tungsten uh, ultralight one person. And a lot of companies are using the UL designation as meaning very light and they achieve it. That we'll see how they achieve this, but the claims right here that it's two pounds, nine ounces. So let's see how close uh, that is to the truth. And I know, I know for a fact that uh, my old tent is uh, just shy of uh, just about uh, twice that amount is 2,300 grams. So this tent on there right now, is 1.269 grams and they said on the pack that it'd be 1.17 so 1.269 so it's pretty close so that so two pounds nine and we'll we'll probably make it just a little bit lighter by taking away a few items we get in the pack uh, we'll set it up right here in the yard get the poles and uh, comes with it's only a two pole setup and the poles have a unique bend in them to to get extra um, to make maximum use of the of the space so it comes with a nice two it's only two poles very quick setup uh, the main tent the tarp that goes over and a bag with some I imagine Wow, miniature little tent pegs and uh, some uh, rope for uh, to make some guys and some uh, patching materials. All right, so I'm gonna set it up right here uh, in my backyard. Step one. Definitely a small footstep. The way it is, it's uh, there's only one way in uh, through the side. So I'll lay it down, assemble the poles. The ends of the poles are color coordinated. So on most of the tents that I've seen recently, uh, the red tabs are the front and then this one one side of the poles is gray and one side of the pole is green
green. So let's see how this is. So this is a yellow or green tab. This is a yellow tab and gray. So I'm gonna put yellow here. Now should probably be anchor to simplify, but one yeah, even if it falls and the second one there ha, I, did I do it yeah I did it right okay gray and then Very few tents come up with anything incredibly unique anymore. I mean, it's. I, I think we've we've um, we've come close to achieving the state of the art in uh, in tent construction now. We should have started the clock, but we'll be able to watch the clock on the uh, video to see how long that took. And, uh, okay, so that's step one. Okay, now uh, I, I found this on the ground. Luckily, I don't, I don't want to lose this. I, that's a nice feature. Not every manufacturer does this. I used to, I carry one that I found myself in, for my other tents because North Face didn't provide one in my North Face tent, but Marmot provides a little tube like this. And people say, what's the tube for? Well, if one of these bungees breaks, you can actually um, slip two ends of a pole into this tube. And if you had tape, you can tape it, but, but this will, this substitutes a joint. This becomes a repair joint. So looking around the tent, um, it's pretty straightforward. Holy smokes, straight stand there. Look at how narrow it is. It's barely, it's barely wider than me. So it is a one person tent, but it looks like it's high. I can see that it achieves its maximum weight reduction by using a screen everywhere. And one thing I like about a tent like this is it is freestanding. So, you know, when I'm done at the end and I'm cleaning them out after I, at the end of uh, every day in the morning when I'm cleaning out my tent, it's nice to be able to uh, pick it up and empty the, the leaves and the pine needles out of it. So it is a freestanding tent, which is nice. So, uh, Marmot provided six little tent pegs. I have these other tent pegs that I had bought uh, last year and uh, a whole pile of them. So, I'm going to replace the six that came with the Marmot tent with these six that I had bought online. The reason I prefer, I'm going to use these ones is that these, and, and this is 46 grams versus 72, so I'm adding 30 grams, which is like, you know, extremely negligible. But these are these are three ways, and they're a little bit longer, but more important, they're red. And uh, you th it doesn't take, it doesn't, it doesn't look like much, but red is a lot easier to find on the grass than silver. And when you're uh, picking up at the end, and silver is mixed, if you, especially if you're in little pebbles and rocks and whatnot, silver is a really lousy color for tent pegs. You know, the only color that would be worse than that, I think, would be green or black. So red is fantastic. So I'm going to put up the tent using these pegs. All right, so uh, same thing. There should be a color coordinated. So there are, there are, uh, there is a red tab on the front. Take advantage of the wind. You want to zoom in on the on on the details here. There's it's adjustable. I mean, built into uh, on the corner tabs, one for the fly, one for the tent peg, and uh, the fly is uh, color coordinated, red and red, and then this allows to increase the tension. But as a starter.
bingo, just like that. Now, one problem I could see with this tent is that I would not be able to put up the tarp if it was raining. Um, doesn't look like it's set up to be put up with a footprint. I'll have to figure it out unless there is a footprint that comes with it. A footprint would be nice because then I can just use the tarp and the poles and forget about the, the bottom. Okay, so uh, here's a nice other little feature. Ray, you want to... Got a, a, a built-in vent. Okay, so last step is to um, actually underneath. I'll uh, does have velcro so if you look here it's got velcro and you can secure to the poles now I'll uh, I often don't like to attach it to the poles because I like to tighten my guys wires cable lines and and not have the tarp touch as much of the poles as possible but I need to do that that's the next thing I need to do is I need to cut the um, cut the rope, but I'll do that in the field. I'm not sure I'm gonna, you know, I have other rope that I bring. I don't have it with me, but I have um, paracord that I bring when hiking. So each situation is unique. Um, but let's 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 stake it down. See what it looks like. Stake down a little bit. Uh -huh. Interesting. Okay, so we just learned that it fell over. So it does need to be. So it's a windy day today, so I need to stake it down. Let's just do that. Right. Okay. So that that just shows the importance on this tent I'm gonna have to learn how to you know I'm, I'm probably not gonna even attach these uh, we'll figure it out hmm. okay okay so just a quick tent yard setup this is the first time I've ever set up obviously it needs uh, like any product this is why going out with a new product uh, the first time is is not entirely smart you need to set it up in your backyard so I'm gonna set this up in my backyard I'm gonna adjust the guys the way I want to but but let, um, let's keep showing a few things so it, it is for a small tent it does have an impressive uh, vestibule and it does have you know features that you find got a way to Okay, so then one way in. You could actually, oops, sorry. You could actually roll this fly up and attach it over there. And getting in and out is pretty straightforward. It's actually not too bad. I mean, it's uh, it feels almost roomier than my North Face. The reason is is because I can I can stand up nicely in my North Face. It had a higher end and then it went all the way down. So, a lot, but this one feels like I could stand up. I mean, if I was sitting here playing cards with somebody else in my tent, boiling water just outside. There's the vent. Now here's an interesting feature. The reason this is a slightly darker color is because you can take your um, 
your headlamp or an LED light, whatever you have, and you can turn it on in there. Like such. And actually I can put it on the high setting. And apparently it gives you a nice diffused light at night. Interesting idea. Not a lot of uh, pockets otherwise, just one pocket there, one teeny wee little pocket for my eyeglasses. Actually, there is attachment points there and there and there, so I will be able to hang a string and uh, have a place to hang a few things. Everything is everything is double stitched and taped, and you can see this is fairly high. The you know the 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 rating is something like 1,500 millimeters. So I think the the that that means that the 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 tarp could actually the bottom could actually hold quite a bit of weight of water and not leak through. So apparently you can set this up uh, on very wet land. I don't tend to use. Um, don't tend. I never use a ground sheet. Um, don't see the use of them. Um, and otherwise, yeah, it is. It is. It is. I don't know how to show it. Let's disconnect that corner real quick. Hard to tell, but oh yeah, you can feel it when you. Uh, all the seams are taped. So, all right, so consider this part one. I'll finish setting it up. I'll take one last video afterwards. Oh, Nick, or Pat, Ray, take a picture of TQ. Dog. I'll, uh, I'll finish the setup, and then um, this will be part one. Part two will be when I use this in the coming weeks on the field trip. I'll uh, give a final review of this, but uh, so far, you know, this is under $300 Canadian, so very inexpensive for a one-man tent that had great reviews online. Just uh, you can tell that the wind is just pushing on it, so without the guys, it's taking a lot of force. individual ones or just one you think Ray? I'm betting on just one. I'm betting on just one. So let's cut it into four. So Darn long. And we'll have four. Always have a lighter in your pockets when you're outdoors, even on your acreage. Okay, uh, I'm gonna attach them on all four corners. Okay, so I set it up with all, with three guys, guy cape, guy, guy ropes, and uh, I'm so used to saying guy wires. There you have it. The Marmot Tungsten Ultralight One Person. It's a windy day right now and it's uh, stable and you know if it was raining the water is definitely rolling off this tarp that's one thing I uh, it's not gonna 
It's not going to pool anywhere. There's no chance it's going to pool. It's not even going to pool here or anywhere like that. It's going to... I have a feeling this tent is going to surprise me and I'm going to be pleasantly pleased. It's, uh, it's a nice tent. We can do that. Here. <laughs> Definitely windy. She wants to go right away. Come I was out in the bush, I would put something here to weigh this down. Let's just leave that for a second. put the tarp inside and the bottom is is the last bit there I was in a hurry
multiple ways of folding this tent. This one, you can get a compression sack and the sack is way bigger than it needs to be. So there you go. Marmot's new tungsten ultralight one person tent. First impression is uh, I think this is going to be a great tent. Look for part two when I follow up while I use it in the field.